All right, we'll use this. All right, so I guess you'll just have to hold the phone like this. All right. You can see the... Oh, okay. All right, guys, so we're going to get started. Here is all the ingredients you will need. First of all, can everybody hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if everyone can hear me okay. Yeah, I'm making shrimp and grits. Just give me some thumbs up. Yep, my smoking hot wife. There she is right there. Woo! From <laughs> to hell. Smoking hot. <laughs> All right, I got one thumbs up. Let's make sure. Mike Greenwell, John Patrick, how you doing, Betty? Marillo. All right, cool. Here we go. All right, so we're cooking shrimp and grits southern style. Okay, so a lot of people cook shrimp and grits with gravy, and we're not doing that. Because, you know, we just, we, we like it a different way. Nothing wrong with the gravy style. But uh, I cook a cheese grits base with uh, shrimp on top of it. So I'm just going to show you how we do that. So first of all, and Anna will let me know if something's out of frame. <laughs> I got your bacon here. We got our shrimp. We have our stock, and this is beef stock. You can use chicken stock. You can use water if you want. Uh, right here, we have shredded cheddar cheese. This is our grits. Yes, it is an instant grit, but a lot of people use instant grits, and I think they taste fantastic. So I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. We got heavy whipping cream, butter, Old Bay, garlic. Was that minced garlic? Yeah, minced garlic. Okay. Yeah. And then um, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper. We have some green onions straight from the garden that that one grew right there with their own bare hands. Basil. And some basil. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to hand off this phone to Anna. Now I can see myself and I can talk to you. <laughs> All right, we're going to cook our bacon. So we're going to bring that over here. And actually, maybe we can make this work to our advantage because we can have two cameras <laughs> you guys can have, oh look at that we are fancy right now <laughs> y'all we're fancy all right all right we're gonna turn our pan on we're gonna lay our bacon in mm. This isn't thick cut bacon. This is just regular Walmart bacon. But you can use thick cut bacon if you want. How's everybody liking that angle? We got some good camera angles going on. Wayne Harris says shrimp and grits, one of my faves. It's my favorite too, Wayne. It's it's awesome, man. <laughs> we uh I've been doing off and on a low carb diet for a long time so i don't get to eat grits that often it's kind of like a cheat meal for me betty so jeans is my south carolina family that eats grits with and on everything oh yeah but i just can't <laughs> <laughs> with a pukey face pukey face all right i got this we got a new ovens or a new range is that the dual one now yeah looks like it let me get this last piece of bacon in there. We're going to fit that in there because I like bacon. All the bacon. John right. Patrick says bacon makes everything better. <laughs> I'm actually going to move this over here to this burner. Because this one's got a, a triple ring. And also, we're going to start this burner on this side. And we're going to start our stock to boil. So this is, and I'll put all the ingredients and stuff in the description when I'm finished. Uh, this is all last minute, so I wanted to make sure that I got the ingredients and I'll do all the details later. But this is three cups of stock, and we had beef stock at the house, so that's what I grabbed. Fishing with the chads of bacon equals life. Sure does. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ace Catfish and said, Kevin, let your wife do the cooking so we don't have to call 911 for you, bud. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Funny guy. Funny guy. Funny guy. So we got that, and that's probably, that doesn't even look like it enough, does it? Well, it's a big pot. It is a big pot. So while we're waiting on that, the bacon's going to start heating up. This I like to do this, too. I don't know if y'all are like me, but I like to put pepper on my bacon. How many of you like to put pepper on your bacon? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you something that we're going to do tonight. Check this out, y'all. I'm doing five giveaways tonight. I have some fish counters. A yellow, a blue, a pink, an orange, and a Palmetto Cats Santee rig. We're going to give all those away tonight. So make sure that you stay in the stream as long as you can. And uh, we'll do like a numbers thing later. And we'll give those out to lucky winners. Um, you have to be subscribed to the channel. So those of you who hang back and don't like to chat, if you're in anonymously, you have to make sure that you're subscribed. And how you can do that is you, uh, if you clicked on the link and you're just watching through your browser, you have to actually go to the YouTube app and uh, you have to have an account to subscribe and you click the subscribe button. So make sure you do that. You have to be subscribed to win. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, everybody. Let's see who we got. We got mm -hmm. S. Smith. Jameson. What's up, man? Jameson's, oh, Jameson's watching on Facebook. Here. Awesome. And you can't see those comments on your phone because uh, they're in Facebook. Mm. I got old Dieter Melhorn in here. Awesome. Colored, colored fish counter. Yeah, man. I got, uh, I got a green one on the boat, and I gave a black one away to a buddy the other day. And I got inspired by you. And a couple Fridays ago, I'll have this video coming out. It's a Kool-Aid cat, a Kool-Aid chicken video that everyone's done, but I'm doing a little bit different. And uh, I lost count of my fish. I caught so many fish that I lost count. So I got me a clicker to counter, just like Dieter Melhorn. Catfish Head Hunter said, Kevin, there's something wrong with your ceiling fan. It's missing some blade. <laughs> That's a conversation piece with everyone <laughs> that comes in. It's All like right. a helicopter. So we have two cups of grits. We're just going to pour them in. Mm. <sighs> and you got to keep stirring, already. though. Yeah, it's boiling. That's why I said I don't think it's enough. We'll uh, see. So you can always add more. So what I'm doing is I'm cooking it with a stock base. But what I'm going to do is add heavy cream in there to thin it out. <laughs> way too much. This, so we got new appliances the other day. And, uh, man, they heat up a lot faster than our old ones. Yep. We got all the burners working on this one. <laughs> we actually got more than one burner working. Beijing said, I see Kevin and stole my halo. It's hanging on his microwave. That's a bright light oh, right yeah. there. I'm going to pour heavy cream in there. And what that's going to do is going to make the grits really creamy. And mm -hmm. it's also going to thin them up a little bit. <laughs> Ace Catfish said, Norm, the missing blades are the ones his wife beat him with. <laughs> I do not beat my husband. No. <laughs> yeah, they got hot really quick, honey. I wasn't expecting that. Surprise! I'm gonna get a shot in here. Yep. So what I'm doing is just mixing that grits and that cream. See how creamy it's already getting. Be so good, mm -hmm. and that grits is going to continue to cook and it's going to blow up like rice. <laughs> catfish hunters, not yet, anyways. Anna Ace Catfish, and you need to keep him in line. <laughs> he doesn't require much wrangling. <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> Mmm, bacon. So yeah, we got the bacon sizzling. I could probably turn that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Catfish Headhunter said, thank you, Anna, for all the good camera angles. Mm. Yeah, that was my plan, right? <laughs> so then we got butter. And this is uh, six tablespoons of butter. All the butter. Roughly a half a stick. Fishing with the squirrel said, we need smell of vision <laughs> John just, Patrick. It just smells like bacon right now. Yeah, it smells really good, though. John Patrick said, you trained him to cook, but can he do the dishes? Yes. Yeah, he I can do the dishes. dishes. Show him how I do the dishes. Dish. Water. Dish goes in. Dish gets cleaned. Dish comes out. <laughs> when the dishwasher messed up. I said, well, I guess I'm just going to have to hand wash for a little while. And he said, um, I don't do that. Nope. We need a new dishwasher. <laughs> and that ended up, uh, we ended up with a refrigerator, which all, really all of our stuff needed replacing. The stove yeah. was busted. My, the refrigerator was busted. It was time. Mrs. Catfish Headhunter said, I make my grits kind of sweet and my shrimp topping kind of spicy to yeah. balance it out. Do you make your spicy at all? Yeah. See that? Mm. That's what you want. I mm. make my bowl of grits extra spicy. I usually put some sriracha in mine. It's delicious. Oh, you ever Jameson. seen that before? This is Jameson's bottle. Jameson, if I, I ever see you in him. church, this is your bottle. Just for you. Yeah. I have my own. <laughs> So I'm just continuing to stir this grit so that it doesn't burn. And it's just so creamy already. Look at that. Yeah, it looks really good. It's going to be delicious. Ah. Mm. Mr. Gadget Fishing, I love some grit. You can't go wrong with a bowl of grit. I mean, you can if you put sugar in it. <laughs> I don't know. Back home in North Carolina in the mountains, we um, I never had grits growing up that weren't sweet until I moved down here. Oh man, we put everything in it. We put meat in grits. We put, it's kind of like rice. The rice is down. You know, I, um, there's been, I don't remember who it was, but it was somebody cooking something on YouTube and they made sweet rice. Have you ever heard of that? Mm -mm. I don't either. S. Smith said, I put slap your mama hot sauce on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Harris uses Texas Pete. I like all the hot sauces. Sriracha is my favorite. See, but Anna uses so much hot sauce that she gets sick from it. So. It does mess my stomach up, but it's worth it sometimes. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that to myself the night before I go on a long run. It's bad. <laughs> How's this camera angle? The camera is not as good. Now, don't, don't film my butt, please. No butt shots. This, this camera is on my MacBook. It's not as good as the phone. But how do y'all like that one? I'll zoom in on the baking while you're doing that. Fishing with the squirrel said grits and red eye gravy. I've never had red eye gravy. Yeah, um, if y'all want to see somebody cook red eye gravy, go to um, Country Cooking with Twerking Monkeys page. He just put out a video. Well, not just. It was last week. But he put out a video on how to cook red eye gravy. I, too, have never had it. So there you go, Pop. It pops in here. I just plug your channel for you. Oh, your brother's in here, Chad. He said, Kevin makes the best Chad, grits. I Chad. should know. He does make yeah. the best grits. Well, and I'm not blaming Dad for this, but there's a reason I'm a big fella. because I grew up <laughs> on cheese grits. So. <laughs> Sometimes I'd have to watch. Well, not, I would have to watch Chad and my other and my sister Brandy um, during the summertime. My dad was at work, so I had to cook for him. And grits, we had the little instant packets of grits, and so those are really easy to cook. Mrs. Catfish Headhunters, Miss Mary said, "Don't forget the thumbs up." Yeah, thank you. And I really do. I I hate it sometimes when, you know, you have streaming problems um, and I can't wait to get to a thousand and whatever it takes to stream straight to YouTube because the StreamYard app on the phone, it needs improvement. Let me just say that. It needs a lot of improvement. <laughs> um, those of you who maybe had the old link 
to tonight. Um, I went live on accident <laughs> because the app, I felt like it was malfunctioning. But and Anna's arm's probably going to get tired. It is already burning. I mean, Mr. It, no, I'm, I'm burning. Break. Burn. Take a break. Mr. Gadget Fisher says, stay away from the hot sauce when you're going to be on the boat the next day. Wait, oh, yeah. today will burn your butt tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that going on the boat the next day. So this bacon, you want to get it uh, good and crispy because it's going to top your, your shrimp and grits. Um, I mean, I guess it's all the taste, really. If you don't like crispy bacon, you can undercook it a little bit. But when you're going to crumble it like I'm going to do, it's, it's good to get it nice and, and crunchy. So I'm going to put this pot back here on low. We do have a warm zone on the new stove, but the pot's too big to fit on it. See, that grits is nice and mm, 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 mm. That grit. That grit. <laughs> Uh-oh, Beijing is going to be the next Fast and Furious off-road session. All right. <laughs> <My> new truck. <laughs> And, and again, thank you for all of you who came in. I, I know I was supposed to have Fishing with Billy on tonight, but uh, he's having some health issues, and I wouldn't want anybody – I wouldn't want to be live or doing any kind of show when I was feeling ill. So I totally understand, and, you know, unfortunately I already have a bunch of shows – not unfortunately, but as far as um, rescheduling, I already have some shows – scheduled throughout august and so we're going to try to get him in back in in september so y'all pray for him um and his health issues i won't disclose what they are even though they're not really i mean it's something a lot of people suffer with but um but so i appreciate you guys coming in we just uh i tried to get a few people in and understandably they were you know busy and unable to come in at the last minute so uh you know we're trying to do the best we can and the show must go on and we got to eat dinner anyway. So <laughs> we figured, Hey, let's do shrimp and grits. Half why crazy not? Fish and ask, Kevin, why is there a dent in that frying pan? A dent in the frying pan? It's just a reflection. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if maybe there is. Maybe he thinks I beat you with it. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she didn't beat me with it. All right. So we're going to let that pan cool off a little bit because it's smoking pretty good. And I'm going to go over here and we're going to give away a clicker. Uh, so the first winner, can you see that already? Can you see it? So the first winner will, um, will get to pick their prize. So right here, here, I'll get you to hold this for me. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, little on? bait clickers. And so when you click it, they go up a fish, and then you can turn them to reset it. So they're pretty cool. I've never had one before. And like I said, I got one out of necessity because I, I didn't know how many fish I caught, which is a good problem. And then the other prize is a Santee rig. I know everybody's seen one before, but this one has a... Uh, a nine aught Daiichi hook on it. Pretty nice hook, snailed on there. It's got some beads and a Versa rattle from Dale's Tackle. Uh, three inch peg float. A pretty long leader. I've been I've been trying long leaders here lately to a swivel, and I'll send one of those out if that's the <laughs> prize you want. Fishing with the Chad wants the orange one. You gotta win it, homie. John Patrick Third said, Mom would stay on zero. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing with the Chad said, I'll go ahead and claim the... Oh, sorry. Fishing with the Chad said, I'll go ahead and claim the blue one. <laughs> All right. So we're going to pick how many people we got in chat? 35. 35. So we're going to pick a number between 1 and 200. And 3, 2, 1, go. The closest to... The number that we pick without going over will win. You can only pick one number. And if you win, then you get to pick which prize. So go ahead and pick your numbers, one through 200. And I am i can't see the numbers on this phone, so uh, Anna can. So I'm going to tell her the number. 
All right. Hopefully y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> so it shouldn't take that long for people to enter in their numbers. So go ahead and do that. And again, thank you all for coming in. Uh, I know probably viewership isn't as high as it would if I had a, a guest like Billy on. Man, he if you haven't watched his channel, go over and subscribe. It's Fishing with Billy. He used to be Panfish. And uh, he puts out some really good videos. He's just a really genuine guy. And uh, I know Ann and I love watching his channel. So uh, check him out. Next week, we'll have Miss BJC on here, Betty Jean Cross. Yay! She's going to get roasted this week, I believe, on uh, James Dockery and the Chad show. But uh, we'll be nicer to you, Betty. I, we won't roast you uh, on my show. So go ahead and get roasted. <laughs> She's going to have so much fun on that. Uh, yeah, y'all have a blast. If you if you hadn't checked out, uh, if you don't know about it, James Dockery Fishing and Fishing with the Chad, they host a collaborative show together. Uh, and each week they host on each uh, a different person's channel. So one week it'll be Dockery and one week it'll be the Chad, Fishing with the Chad. It's really fun. So check it out. They have a good time. Uh, yeah, they do pick on each other quite a bit. But, uh, you know, they have fun. It's all love. Anyway, so that should be enough. So who's closest to the number? All right. Uh, hold on one second. The number was 125. Sean T. Outdoors got 121. Sean T. So far. That's the closest one. All right, Sean. Uh, mm, yeah. Make sure. All right, Sean T. Uh, you're the first one. So go ahead and send me an email or Facebook message me which prize wait. you want. Oh, wait. Catfish and Crappy said he guessed 125. I didn't see that in there. My assistant is failing me right now. I'm not failing. I don't see 125 <laughs> in there. She don't see it, Mark. John T. Outdoors 125, but I don't see anything up here. All right. Well, somebody, I'll let you figure that out. <laughs> right now, Sean T is going to get it because, uh, because we don't see, we don't see it, Mark. Sorry, buddy. Um, Sean, just uh, message me. And I actually need to know which one you want. So if you would put up in chat so Anna can see it and we'll take that one out of the prizes because. I think he, Papers and Crabby, I think he's saying, I guess, Oh, okay. Um, so we'll have four prizes after this. So, um, Sean T, just let us know which one you want, and uh, Anna will take that out of the prizes. All right, we're going to move on. This is our shrimps. Mm. This is the superstar. Well, I don't know. The grits is pretty superstar, too. Anyway, we got our shrimps. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our pan with the baking grease in it to fry the shrimp. We're just going to lay those in there. Mmm, shrimp you, and bacon. If you hear that sizzle, that's why I let it cool down a little bit. Because otherwise the shrimp would flash cook. Maurice Kaysen. Hey, Maurice. Hey, Maurice. Quantum Blues is on yeah, here. What's up, man? Catfish and Crappy. Did that guy ever say which prize he wants? I'm looking for right now. <laughs> Catfish and Crappy, he said, Palmetto is a joke. I will never do that again. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. When you, do these, when you do these live streams, it takes so long for the chat to get in. And you can't tell. You can't tell tone. You can't tell yeah, anything. You can't tell when somebody's joking sometimes. No, you can't. Catfish headhunters. Dang, no one stands a chance in here. All blue with the wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want anybody sour because they didn't have a wrench. So I tried to get everybody I could. I'm trying to look for where Sean said what color he wanted. Sean, brother, you need to put in which, uh, which prize you want if to keep Anna from scrolling back. Yellow, yellow, yellow. 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 I okay. found it. Awesome. Never mind, John. He did it again, too. Sorry. 
Alright, so yellow goes to Sean. Sean, you need to email me, palmettocats at gmail.com. If somebody could put that in there. Uh, or at um, Facebook, you can find Palmetto Cats on Facebook and send me your address and I'll get that out to you. Ace Catfish is like, give him pink. <laughs> All right, so what we have in here is minced garlic. Mm. And I can't even remember how, what was that? I, I think it was two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. I would put more, but you know, it's just me. We're going to keep it <laughs> so we can eat it. We're going to keep it palatable. Where we don't smell like garlic yeah. for three days. Looks really good. It smells good. Mm, I love garlic. All this stinky stuff. You want to say hi to Olive? Olive, say hi. She's got help. She wants to taste test. <laughs> she you can't have it. This is her spot right here when Kevin's cooking. It's right by the stove, waiting yes, for something to hit under the floor. My feet or under my legs. <laughs> All right. Next, we have. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. We're going to uh, kind of drizzle that on there. Well, it'll come out. And we'll mix that all up here in a minute. Catfish and Krabby agrees with me. Garlic is awesome. Mr. Gadget Fish and Palmetto, are you going to wear leggings next time out? Negative. <laughs> oh, there I'm, was somebody. I'm not as cool as Norman. We got Old Bay seasoning. The olive cam. Yep, that's it, Marillo. And so we're going to sprinkle. Shoot, who am I kidding? Let's just just dump it on. We're going to eat it. John Patrick wants to know where my Palmetto Cat shirt is. I would like to know an answer to that question, too. I don't have a Palmetto I Cat t shirt. No, I don't. She does. She has a pink one. No, She's I don't. She's actually worn it in a video. Oh. Boom! Oops. In your face. Well, maybe a new <laughs> one. Yeah, I can make a new one. All right, so if you don't know how to cook shrimp, so they come like a gray, translucent type color, kind of like that. Kind of gross looking. Yep. And you want to <laughs> cook them until they're kind of pinkish on one side. Well, you want to cook them until they're pinkish on both sides. Yeah, to say all of it. <laughs> but that's how you kind of know when to flip them. We have way more shrimp in this pan than we need to have but uh we really like shrimp <laughs> cabbage had understood catfish like garlic too there was somebody and i don't remember who it was earlier asked you an off-topic question about if you're um nervous about going back to school with covid nope i'm not because my district is really smart and uh we got a plan in place that's going to keep everybody safe so yeah. I'm not worried about it one bit. S. Smith just put up the link for um, the Chad and James Dockery show. Sweet. Half Crazy Catfish and said, great job cooking, Kevin. Sweet. Thanks for coming in, man. Or Sorry if I'm missing lady. I'm not, sure. I'm not sure if you're a man or a lady. Oh, you, you really do need to have smell of vision for this. It's no, it smells really good. Looks really good, too. Stephen Hare said, what's this here sauce? I don't know if he's talking about something else, maybe, but... So it's not a sauce. That's just the liquid. That's Worcestershire sauce. Pick it up a little bit. Worcestershire sauce. It's um, Old Bay seasoning. And garlic. Uh, what is it? Garlic, minced garlic. Yeah, minced garlic. That's all it is. And the water from the shrimp. Avid's back in here. Hey, Avid. Avid. It's hard to call you Avid. I keep wanting to say it wrong. I think that's how Norm says it, right? Avid. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I hear it different ways, so I keep forgetting how to say it. All right, 43 people. Palmetto, catfish and crappy palmetto. I like how you use the two cans. Took me a minute to figure it out. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. I wanted just the one can. But I mean, it is cool. But, uh, you know, that's a $3,000 computer over there. And I don't really want it this close to food. But <laughs> <laughs> no other choice. No other choice.
Ace says, I'm still waiting on my sticker for my new truck, Kevin. Or for my truck. Ace catfishing. Um, I've sent out so many stickers, but did I owe him a sticker or something? I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Avid says, I say it right. And then S. Smith says, it depends on where you're from, how you say. True. Ah. So I'm going to call an audible on this grits. It's kind of really thickened up. And I still have one more ingredient to add to it. So I'm going to grab some more. Um, I'm actually going to put water in it. Ooh. We're just going to watch the shrimp cook. And look at the bacon again. <laughs> so I'm going to thin that out a little bit. Michael Morella says, I'm going to make some shrimp Alfredo soon. I can't wait to watch this and and not eat. I can't watch this and not eat. <laughs> <laughs> so all you got to do, check it, put it in here, is if your grits kind of solidifies like that, you can reconstitute it with water and just add heat to it, and then the lumps will start coming out. Did you already put cream in it? I already put cream in it. So you don't want to cook your shrimp too long. They're probably, probably just done. about done because they'll get rubbery. So what I'll do is I'll cut the heat on them. Mix them around one more time. And just take them off. And so we're back to these grits. Let me get up in there. Get up in there. Looks good. So now that we're we're gonna add uh, salt and pepper. <laughs> Stir that in. And we're in the south, so we like our food well seasoned. Like it's, you know, I'm not saying that people in the north don't like it well seasoned, but we it's just different. We kind of overdo it. We put a lot of seasoning in our foods. Oh yeah, that's starting to look good. So it might look it might look soupy right now, that's but I'm about to add. Cheese. Um, well, it's a surprise. Oh, I ruined the surprise. Well, they always already saw it in the. I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's in the thing. The cheese. Mm. Cheese. Gonna dump it. I packed it in there pretty good. Dump half it out in there. Well, that's a lot of cheese. I'm gonna stir it up. Ace Capuchin said, you said you were going to send one. Your sticker? Mm. I sent him a shirt. Mm. Yeah, you got a shirt for me. But I'll, I'll send you a sticker, too. Wayne Harris says, oh, man, I'm hungry now. Oh, yeah. It's good stuff. Catfish and Crappy, now you folks got me wanting to make some this week. Y'all give it up for my camera lady. She's holding the camera. And reading the comments on her phone. And being awesome. And being just awesome. <laughs> My grandma says, I need a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Muskrat, I can eat some shrimp. Believe that. Mm -hmm. So Skip we're just going to stir this. Well, I'll give you armor break. Okay. All right. So well, we're just going to stir this grits in. Well, maybe not. <laughs> it's spinning on me. Don't watch out for that. There you go. All right, so we're going to stir it in. And you want to keep it over the burner so it'll keep keep it hot and then melty. Hot and hot melty. And melty. John Patrick said, I put your sticker in my back window on my truck, brother. And Sweet. one went on my dad's fishing boat. That's Sweet. awesome. I really appreciate the support. Everybody said Anna's doing a great job. Yeah. Thank y'all. April's on here. April Lily. Jameson said we like to schedule a delivery. Uh, <laughs> hey, we can make that happen. Y'all can just come over. Just bring Anna right? over. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Question from Cabbage Headhunters. Have you tried liquid cheese in them yet, Kev? Are we going to go there? 
Stop blaspheming, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't tried with this one. Half crazy catfish and said it looks very good. All right, so here's the end product after all the cheese is in there. Really gooey. That's what you want. Mmm. Mm, but they do really thicken up. Yeah. They just cool a little bit. Mm. Yeah, once they start cooling, that's when they start thickening up. Wayne Harris, about time for taste test. It is almost sure that, time. Mmm, sure mm. delicious. I think it needs some more pepper, though. Queso cheese is good on it. On grits? Yeah, I guess. To each his own. Like, like uh, yeah. maybe, ooh, you know, um, that hot pepper jack cheese would be good. Mm. To each his own. I mean, this is just the way I do it. Macamarillo, Red Lobster doesn't permit me to enter, and that ain't right. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. She chilling. All right, so we're going to take um, this basil. We're just going to, I am not a chef. Please don't judge my knife technique. Or if you do, I'll just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> we're just using this as a garnish. And to say we ate something green. Hey, I ate green today, just earlier. A monster energy doesn't count. All right, we're gonna cut the end off of that. This is green onion from the garden. Mm -hmm. Look, Olive wants them. He's so good. You don't yeah, get onion, it's bad for puppies. Ah! Just kidding. Shut up. Just you scared kidding. the crap out of me. <laughs> Stupid. That was probably loud. I probably woke, up, loud. woke up everybody's kids that were sleeping. Sorry, Michael Marilla. <laughs> IG bass. I don't know who that is. Some smoked gouda might work. Ooh. That might actually be really good in some grits. I like strong cheeses, like very flavorful cheeses. Sharp. Blue cheese. Stinky cheeses. Hey, you better. Uh, Quarantine Blue says you owe me a speaker now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gadget, take the knife away before he cuts himself. Matthew Baker, rude. <laughs> oh, Wayne, shrimp and grits and fried green maters. Yes, please. I wish I had some green maters I could fry up right now. Then I look pretty and clean. So Woo. pretty and green. All right, it's time to plate. So let me get the bowl. You're going to make here. it look pretty. Before that, let's give away another clicker. All right, let's give away another prize. So we have a blue. A pink, actually, go ahead and pick a number between 1 and 200. Everybody go. Um, only one number, closest one to the number without going over wins. I'm going to give her the number now so she can look for it. All right, she's got the number. This is for either a blue clicker or counter, a pink one, an orange one, or a Santee rig with a Daiichi hook on it, a um, some beads, a Versa rattle, a three inch peg float, Palmetto style, green as I can get it. <laughs> All right, one through 200, one through 200. Fifty one people, holy cow, thank you y'all. I've already given her a number. I see, but I, so don't worry about me looking at the chat. 50 people. Thank you so much. I can't believe we got 50 people in here just yeah. watching us cook. That's awesome. Thank y'all very much. Thank you. Yeah, 50 and 51. Hey, hit the thumbs up, please. I would appreciate it. All right. Five, four, three, two, one stop. The last number was 67 by Maurice Kaysen. Got it. That's the one. All right. Anna said that was the closest one. Maurice, you won. Maurice, you won. The number was 68. That was the crack. It was real close, but he went over. Oh, darn it. <laughs> so, close. so, Maurice, let Anna know which one you want the blue, 
the pink, the orange, or the Santee rig, let her know. And then we'll get you, we'll get that out to you, okay? All right. While he's doing that, I'm going to plate these grits here. All right. Mmm, look at that. Man, it's pretty good right there. Abbott says, let's raid Kevin's kitchen. <laughs> we can have grits for days. Yeah. We all, I all, not, I say we, but it's me. I'm going to get a better. Corn cream blues is getting all, he said, y'all stay safe, got some real good money. All right, man. Thanks for stopping in. I always go overboard on the grits. I never listen to recipes. <laughs> this will be Anna's bowl, so I won't put a, a bunch of them in there. All right, then we're going to take, I'm going to hold it. Did he tell you what he wants already? I don't see it. Hey, Maurice, if you're still in here, let her know which one you want. I'll, I'll go look at them one more time. You got a blue counter, an orange counter, or pink counter, or a blue. blue. Okay, blue for Maurice. Mike Grandma said dog walking time. Good night, all. All right, Mike. See you. All right, we still got three prizes we're going to give out. We'll do the other one in just a second. Here, you want to hold this? Mm -hmm. All right, so what you do with the bacon is you take it. Mm. And I can't pop. Olive. <laughs> Crumbly, crunchy bacon. Mm. Crumble that bacon. Don't let any of it go to waste. <laughs> Ava says, if you have 51 people bum rush your kitchen, you won't have to worry about extras. <laughs> you got that right. But everybody still leaves a little hungry, though. I'm going to mix, mix this up a little bit. Just make sure we get all the seasonings on there. Oh, so she wants one. Catfish and Crabby said, did you say bacon? Should I give Olive a shrimp, y'all? Should I give her a shrimp? Give her a shrimp. Sure. Ooh, that was good. She said, that's hot, She's man. always ready. <laughs> Mary said, I already ate, but for some reason I'm getting hungry. Is that enough shrimp or you want more? Uh, That's enough. That means I overloaded it. All right, we'll take it over here. Put some pretties on it. There you go, y'all. What do you think about that? Does it look all right? Let's get it in some light. There's Chunky. Hey, Chunky. What do you think? Delicious. My right. is good for dogs. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> all right, we're going to let Anna taste it. And hopefully... Hopefully she'll like it. <laughs> wait, wait, we got to bless it. Oh. Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, the stream, Lord. We thank you for all the people in here. Lord, we just thank you for this platform to share our love for you. Thank you for this platform to share our love for catfishing and our love for each other. We just thank you for tonight. And thank you for all these people who uh, came in despite my guest uh you know being ill and i just thank you for all their support and i thank you for making it all happen we just ask that you bless this meal for our bodies in jesus name we pray amen all right now I'm sure I'm not a heathen. yeah making sure my wife's not a heathen when i'm real hungry i forget to say the blessing <laughs> all right here mm, we go it's gonna be so good I'm trying to cut the shrimp because it's too big Elstan Perez. Hey, y'all. It looks like Chunky's going to go live tonight. Oh, Make sure you go check him out. So we can watch Chunky go live as we eat our grits. Yeah, man. He makes everybody happy when he's fishing. Yep. I love it. All right. Don't lie. Those are perfect. Baby Jesus is watching. Don't lie. Baby Jesus would love his grits. <laughs> How about the shrimp? It's really good. Oh, you tasted it's like, it? Uh huh. It's um, like pots, so it's not. Oh, it's overdone. crispy. Mm. It's perfect. 
only thing I would add. Uh oh, here we go. It's mm -hmm. some hot sauce. Hot sauce, we can do that. I will be at hot sauce. Let's see. Let's see if we can't find some hot sauce in here. It's oh, it's on this side. That's hot sauce. What you want? Do you want Old Bay or Sriracha? All right, Sriracha. That one's sweeter. Old Bay is. Old Bay is very vinegary. It's really good. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like you're shaking Old Bay down your throat. Mm -hmm. Too much. Too much. But I'm not going running in the morning. I can eat all hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to do another good. giveaway. Um, I'm going to let Anna eat. So we're going to do a one through 200, and this is what we got left. We got three giveaways left, y'all, and we're already finished cooking. Um, so we got an orange fish counter, we have a pink fish counter, and a Santee rig. Maurice won the blue, and Sean won the yellow. I have the bright green on my boat, obviously. <laughs> and I gave away the black to a friend of mine who just started fishing. He just got a boat. And so I gave him some old rod and reels, uh, an old net, and uh, he just bought monster rod holders. So Steve, if you watch this, if you watch this later, uh, I, I sold some rod holders for you. <laughs> he loved the rod holders on my boat. So he said, I'm going to get those monster rod holders. Hey, Pops. Hey, my dad's in here. Look at that. 25. He, <laughs> he's guessing it. I know, my numbers are already going out. Yep. And I'm going to let Anna... Tell me the number? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I messed up, y'all. I'm sorry. I messed up. Because I didn't give Anna the number. And she's looking at chat, and I looked at chat. So let's stop for a second. Let me try the worst Yeah, Anna's going to top the worst stop. That's my fault. I got excited because I saw Dad in here save you some all right. food all right so after a stop i'm sorry y'all pick one through 200 pick one through 200 go and i'm not gonna look and i'm gonna tell her okay no that's a bad one okay. all right she's got it now she's got it all right cool we're rolling again Hey, Dad, pick your number again. Mm, shrimp and grits. So if you just came in, yeah, 45 people still in here. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So here's the grits. Nice and cheesy. We got the shrimps. We got the bacons. Crumble that on. And you got the chopped up green onions and basil. Mm. Marie's asked for Pops next cooking video is coming. I don't know. Pops will have to answer that. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one. Type stop, honey. She's going to type stop. Anybody after stop can't win. All right, who was the closest? The number was 176. So whoever had closer to 176 without going over wins. I see Skunk Water had 137. Yeah, I see a 157. Mr. Gadget. Mr. Gadget, you won, man. And I, I'm happy for him. He he comments on just about every one of my videos. So, Mr. Gadget, you got an orange, you got a pink, or a Santee rig. Go ahead and type in which one you want. I'm going to plate me some. And then after I plate me some, we're going to do these other two giveaways. And we're going to get out of here so that we can uh, eat watch and watch Chunky go fishing. So. Uh, where's my bowl? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just taking you off for a ride. Some people said they wanted to meet Olive, so. 
Where's Olive? This is our daughter, Olive. She's seven, and she's so sweet. She hates looking at herself on the she camera, does. though. Every time you pull a camera out, she gets up. When you try to take a selfie with her, she gets upset and moves. She doesn't want to be on social media. She doesn't believe in it. <laughs> All right, did he tell you which one he wanted? Mr. Gadget said thanks. All right, let us know, Mr. Gadget, which one you want. He wants orange. Orange, of course. <laughs> Nobody wants my Santee rig. <sighs> I promise I catch good fish with it. No, you'll use the green one on the boat. <laughs> All right. Who? Hey, Lone Catfish. New name. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate that. I, I love it when new people come in. That means that we're we're growing and, and people are giving us a chance. And really, you know, everybody said it all week, so I'm going to go ahead and say it again. Without you guys out there, there's no show. You know, there's no show. There's no videos being watched. There's no YouTube. So thank you guys for watching. And I, I promise I try to support every single person that I can and I'll watch I watch all your live streams I um, even if I can't watch them all um, like I'm watching Patriot on the way home I'm listening to Patriot on the way home from my uh, men's Bible studies on Wednesday nights uh, just so that I can participate and listen to what he's got going on so I try to I try to help you guys out because you guys help me out and girls and, and Anna says she enjoys being Facebook friends with you all um, our YouTube channel of the week. I'm going to do that in a minute too. But first. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I might send, I'm going to send you one anyway, Michael. All right. So we got a pink counter. And we have a Santee rig left. One through 200. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the number. And it's going to be. Maybe they read my lips. Hold on. Okay. All right. On your mark, you set, go. One through 200, closest to the number. Without going over, pick one number. I'm going to finish plating up my grits. <laughs> all it wants to be. You want a piece of bacon? She wants all the bacon. Hey, you want to do your tricks? Let's do your tricks. Can y'all see her? You want me to hold it? Nope, I got it. Oh, sit. Oh, shake. <laughs> She's going through them already. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. High five. <laughs> right, She's pretty smart. <laughs> All right, 10 more seconds. Pick your numbers. 10 more seconds. All right, type stop. All right, the number was 56. Who was closest? Fishing with the Chad. Fishing wow. with the Chad had 55. <laughs> Chad, please tell me you want the pink counter. <laughs> if not for you, get it for D. Yay. Get it for D. So I'm going to go ahead and pick your prize. She caught all the fish. She caught all the earlier. fish today anyway. So, Chad and D, there you go. Pink fish counter. Send me your address. Everybody who's won tonight, send me your address on uh, Facebook or at palmettocats at gmail.com. Two T's on Palmetto. Uh, two T's. All right, one last giveaway, then we're going to get out of here, y'all. Santee rig, Santee rig. Uh, I'm going to let Anna pick the number. What's, and what's she's going to tell me. You're going to tell me. One through 200. All right, pick number one through 200, go. Last prize, Santee rig. Mm, this is looking, this is looking <laughs> darn good. Patrick Harvey said, um, D got a hat and a counter check, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, 
Chad, there might be something extra in that package for you. We'll see. Oh. I do feel bad for Chad sometimes. He gets a bad rap. <laughs> and if you guys want these counters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Amazon link in the description of the video. So you can click on the link of the video, and they come six to a pack. And I think they're like $7. So they're really inexpensive, and I know... I'm giving away cheap prizes, but they, I mean, they work. They they work awesome. And you can count, catch up to 900, 9,999 fish on one counter. Catch all the fish. That's, I mean, that's a deal right there. 9,999 fish on one counter. Shoot, man. And then you have six counters. And if you don't want to give any away, you can have a counter for the week. You can have a counter for the month, for the year, for the day. And I'm going to use this at Chad. And Chad, it's cool that Chad won that, too, because he's putting together this tournament. And hopefully, D will have to use it several times in the tournament. Chad said, I'm always sweet to everyone. Everyone just picks on him. I don't pick on him. <laughs> I don't pick on him at all. No. But I'm going, to send, I'm going to send you something in the package. All right, 10 seconds. 10, right. 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Type stop. The number was eighteen, so a low number. Eighteen. Let's see who won. I didn't see the numbers. She was watching them, but she picked it already. Let's see. I see a, a nine. All right, Betty, you won a Santee rig. Betty just said, life would be boring without picking on Shad. <laughs> All right, so the YouTube channel of the week. YouTube channel of the week. I'm going to pick Country Cooking with Twerking Monkey. Yeah. Uh, he's working really hard to put out some good stuff for you. Um, I've enjoyed, you know what I enjoy even more than the cooking, which the cooking is awesome and the recipes are great, but you know what I enjoy is the stories that pop tells. And I, I tried to tell Kevin in a chat, um, his son, uh, Kevin, that he needs to record them. He needs to record all pop stories and put them on a podcast because people like to listen and, and pop's got kind of a soothing Southern accent. And you know, people just like listening I would to, that. Sit in traffic and listen to that. I said, I would sit in traffic and listen to something like that. He's a natural storyteller. It's kind of like a book on tape, but you know, he's got really cool stories and he tells it while he's cooking. So go check him out Country Cooking with Twerking Monkey. He's got two videos up now. I know he's working hard on another one. Um, and he can show me up in the kitchen, I'm sure. He can cook way better than I can. But anyway, I just want to um, thank everybody, Betty, um, Maurice, Chad, and D, Sean. Was that it? Who won the other one? Shoot. I... No. It was Sean won the first one. Maurice. And there was somebody in between Sean and Maurice. Oh, Mr. Gadget. Oh, oh, that's right. Mr. Gadget, all of you who won something, please send me your uh, mailing address to palmettocats at gmail.com if you don't do Facebook. If you do Facebook, go ahead and send me a message on Facebook, or um, you can wait until this video posts on YouTube and you can make a comment, but I don't know if you want to share your address in the comments. Yeah, man, no problem. And and he wa he supports me 100%, and I just love that. I, uh, I just thank you all for coming in. Uh, sorry for well, – I'm not going to apologize for – for um for the hiccup in the beginning because that's the app's fault <laughs> but it ended up working pretty good she's right yeah we we worked it out and we had two camera angles so hello over there camera angle and we're eating shrimp and grits so thank y'all and we will get billy in y'all pray for him uh pray for his uh health issue uh he's not feeling well and we'll get him in here soon next week is Betty Jean Cross. 
Betty Jean Cross, brand new YouTuber, supports everyone as well. Uh, shares all my videos, and I sure do appreciate it. And I make her, I make sure she knows it every time. Yeah, yeah, she does cook some good looking food. So anyway, thank you again, all of you. Make sure before you leave, hit the thumbs up. And, and if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it. I know everybody who won tonight is a subscriber, so we're going to send those out. And uh, I just thank you all, and God bless. It's going to take me a second to get out. I got to end two camera sessions. So God bless y'all.